Hello everyone and welcome to my latest tutorial and today it's a match day image and it's featuring Mohamed Salah and I've gone for uh, like a bit of a, a red theme, gone with the uh, club colours of Liverpool um, like with any of these uh, tutorials, any of these match day images all right, you can tailor them to your club, uh, to your club colours um, all I've done is just put the match day text in, Okay, I've not put the uh, finer details in I can leave that up to you, but without further ado let's get straight into it. So this is going to be a pretty basic tutorial um, just to give you a, an idea of what to expect over the next 20-25 uh, minutes or, or so. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm going to press command N as a shortcut and it's going to bring up a new document. And I'm working in pixels and I'm going to work on 1748 by 2480. And I've gone for 300 pixels per inch. Okay, not printing it. Usually use this when you're printing it, but uh, don't need to worry about that. RGB color 8 bit, and we're going to click OK. So what I can do is uh, press Command Zero. If you're working on Windows, you can press uh, Control Zero. All right. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the grass. So uh, all these images are just free images. They'll be uh, linked in the description below. Okay, and we'll have our transform tool up and I'm going to resize it. I'm going to hold Alt on my keyboard. Okay, and I'm just going to grow it. So it grows in proportion like that. And I'm just going to drop it down on the bottom of the image. And I'm going to hit enter. Uh, let me just think. In fact, let me just come out. So I'm using my trackpad just to zoom in and out. Press Command T again. Okay, hold Alt. I can just make it a little bit bigger drag it up because I wasn't satisfied and hit enter. Now what I need to do is just going to get rid of uh, these trees in the sky so all we're simply going to do make sure this layer is selected go down here hit the layer mask button okay we're going to go over to our gradient tool make sure we've got black and white selected here if you don't see it okay click on there click on the basics black and white and then I'm going to say from about here I'm going to click and hold down hold shift just drag down have a little play and I'm not keen on that so I'll probably do it from just where grass breaks and if you zoom in yeah I'm pretty content with that next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring Mo in uh, so I'm going to do this a little bit backwards okay so it's not uh, going to do the whole background and then um, uh, do certain aspects okay I'm going to be moving back and forth so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring Mo in um, it's the one from 40 renders I'm going to drag and drop him and I'm just going to resize him and might be a little bit different from uh, the one previous but I'm going to go for something like that and hit enter now we need to blend him in a little bit here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new layer by clicking this icon down here New layer pops up, I'm going to drag it underneath. Okay. Hit D on your keyboard and it'll change your palette black back to black and white. So we want black. Hit B for your brush tool. Just here. I like to work shortcuts. Okay, we want use soft uh, soft brush, so go to your general brushes, soft round brush. Okay, and I'm just going to flatten it out. Something like that. You can see it's too big. Too small. And just keep playing around, click off, okay. If it's not the size you want, you can use your bracket keys on your keyboard to make it smaller. And let's just look up here, opacity and flows at 30%, that's okay. Click it a couple of times until you're happy. Yeah, I'm happy with that. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make it bigger. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to flatten it out a little bit more as well. Just click off to the side, and then I'm just going to click a few times, just so we get some sort of sense of a of a shadow. Okay, you can take your time with that. Okay, uh, it works really well, and if you want, you can name it shadow. Okay, next, I'm just going to add a little bit of shadow to the ball as well around Mo. So I'm going to create a new layer, so it pops up above it. Okay, and I'm going to clip it. What do I mean by this? I'm going to hold Alt on my keyboard and hover between the two layers till this icon pops up. If you click it now, what it'll mean is anything on this layer 
will only appear on the solid layer. So with that in mind, I'm going to right click, I'm going to go back to my soft brush. And if you notice, if I click here, nothing's happening. If I click on Mo, you can see it happening. Press Command Z, press Command Z. Okay, what we're going to do is I'm just going to increase the opacity and flow up to around 40%. Okay, if I am talking too fast, okay, you can always press K on your keyboard to pause this tutorial and press J um, to skip back a little bit. And I'm just going to paint underneath the ball just like that just to blend it in a little bit and on the base of his foot. Maybe foot is a little bit too strong and I've got to my limit there, so I'll bring it back down to 20. Okay, underneath his leg, got some natural shadows on him here. So where there are natural shadows, you can try paint them on a little bit more. And maybe underneath his arm as well. Underneath his body. Okay, and just the, those little edits there, you can see how we've blended them in. But what we're going to do is I like to add a bit of a dodge and burn on this one as well. So make sure you've got Salah selected, new layer. Okay, so we get layer two now. What we're going to do is we're going to go to edit. We're going to go to fill. Okay, and then the contents, make sure you've got 50% gray selected, normal 100% and click OK. And then it fills gray. But what we need to do is go to the blend mode, change it to overlay. Okay, go over to our burn tool. Make sure we've got the midtone selected. I have the exposure about 15. Okay, and what you can do is just go around and just burn it in. Okay, just add a little bit of burn and it just enhances the uh, the image a little bit more. It's a fantastic tool. It can be uh, really useful just underneath his chin there, maybe on his hair. It's, uh, it's fantastic. What we're also going to do on the same layer, going to go to the Doge tool and just paint some highlights on as well. Just careful not to go over your shadows, maybe on the back of his boots, back of his legs, just the top of the ball. And then if you look, you can see the difference that we've made slightly. So it's looking fantastic so far. What we need to do now is we need to... Uh, bring in our shape. So what I'm going to do, um, new layer. Okay, I've got it selected here because I've just made this image, uh, but press U on your keyboard. If you see a rectangle or a, an ellipse tool, okay, just hold it down. Okay, you want to select the polygon tool. Click anywhere you like, all right, and we want uh, six sides and click OK. Okay, we can drag that out. Now, the properties should have popped up okay if you don't see that click on your window here and uh, select properties okay first things first we've got six sides let's have a play around so just slid the wrong bit there we go back so six sides and what we're going to do is we're going to move that up to 100% why has it gone to five there we go six so now we should have a tool like this. So make sure you've got six sides selected, okay? And uh, this little icon here is at 100%, so it pu pushes them out. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna spin it over 90 degrees. There we go. All right, and I'm just gonna drag it down. Maybe make it a little bit fatter as well. Um, now, with regards to the stroke, okay? Click the stroke. Like you can see, I've already... Um, might be better over here. I've already uh, just used this. Okay, so go to the gradient, all right, and I've just selected uh, this nice peachy color gradient. If you don't see it, just in there. Okay, that's the uh, the hash code there, C65836, click OK. And then this little peachy color, FFDCA3. Okay, it's not really important, you can choose what you want, choose any, uh, any colors, I just uh, like those colors. Okay, and with the uh, strength of it, I think I went for 25. In fact, no, it was 20. So it's going to be 20 pixels. Okay, press Command T. And what I need to do is I need to position it 
somewhere like there. And I think I needs to be a little bit bigger. No, it doesn't. It needs to be a bit smaller. Maybe something like that. What we can do is while we're here, okay. Oh, let's go, let's go to my layers. What I need to do is I just want to uh, put this in the center. So I'm going to go back down to my background layer. Okay, you should see my rulers uh, around the side of the screen. If you don't, press Command R or Control R on the pop in. Okay, and I'm just going to bring in and snap in a guide. And you can see straight away there with the polygon tool, uh, polygon selected, okay, it was pretty central. And I'm going to go for something like that. Now, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another polygon tool. So select your polygon layer. Now you can either drag it onto the new layer just down there, or you can press Command J or Control J and it'll duplicate it. Press Command T, bring up your transform tool, hold Alt on your keyboard and just drag it out. Okay, what we're doing is we're just creating a border and we're going to change this color uh, shortly. But what we do need to do is go back, click on your polygon tool. Okay, so you've still got this layer highlighted here. Okay, we'll change the strength down to eight. In fact, we'll go with 10, we'll make it half. Hit enter. Um, so we will come back to this in a minute. So we've got our, uh, our two shapes. What I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go back to the original polygon and press you on your keyboard. Okay, in the fill, I've got a couple of colors selected. I'm going to go with that color there, uh, the red. So just choose a red uh, that you like. Okay, and then next I'm going to drag in the next image of Mo. So let's go, we've got him here. Just going to drag him in. Okay, and he's popped up on the top, but we, uh, we want him just above that polygon layer there. I'm going to press Command T. I'm going to resize him and what I would like is I want his arms popping out and his head but not his stomach so I'm just going to nudge him across don't want him locked in and I'm going to hit enter what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate him so I'm going to press command J so I've got two of them I'm just going to hide that one for now this one here okay I'm going to hold alt and clip him and you'll notice how he's um, he, he's gone within the confines of that layer. Now I'm going to click and show this one, and you see he's popped out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this layer. I'm going to go down uh, to the layer mask. I'm going to select it. Make sure I've got black selected here. Hit B for my brush tool. Put my opacity and my flow up to 100%. I'm going to right click. I'm going to select a hard brush. Okay, and all I'm going to do is just paint away just down the bottom there. That's as far as you need to go uh, with that one. But what we need to do is we need to position to the rear. But before we do, uh, what we can do is we can just do a little bit of the same. Um, so because we're working on, on this top layer, okay, what I will do is do a little bit of dodge and burn. So I'll add a new layer just to refresh here, clip it. Edit, fill, you should already be selected. Click OK. Go over to my Doge tool by pressing O, but I'm going to go burn first. In fact, sorry, wrong, go to overlay, change that blend mode to overlay. We're on the burn there. Okay, I'm just going to do his arms. Okay, that's why it's careful not to um, mash too far up here. Yep, and his forearms as well, just under there. Okay. You can do uh, you can do lots on here, okay? But I'm just um, showing what's possible, and then you can see there I've not quite got rid of it. So go back to here, hit B on the brush tool. There we go. That's better. Command zero. Okay. I spoke about this line around the outside, didn't I? So let's go back to the polygon tool. Okay, you can see it there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hit I on my keyboard for the eyedropper tool. I'm going to zoom in. And I'm picking this, this lovely orange colour. You notice it's just picked up here on my swatches. Okay, I'm just I'm going to use that 
as uh, as that uh, color. So polygon tool, okay, and the stroke. Click on there, okay, and it pops up there. So click on that color, and that is the color that I've just selected. And there we go. I was worried, slightly worried then. So press Command H to hide that guide as well, which uh, we'll be coming back to shortly. Uh, now what I need to do, apologies. So I'm going to select the polygon tool at the top there, and then I'm going to select the polygon tool at the bottom by holding Shift down and selecting that one. Okay, and I'm just going to drag them down, and I'm going to put them between the shadow and the grass. There we go. What I need to do now as well is select a dark color for this background before we move on to anything else. So I've got this color over here. Let me show you what it's called. 61000C. Click OK. I'm going to select my background layer here. I'm just going to get rid of that padlock. OK, now it's the uh, the four color. Is that, what, is that what you said? Foreground color, sorry. Yeah. OK, I'm going to hit uh, Alt and Backspace. Okay, and it fills it up nicely. The grass, select that, and then change the blend mode to, what did I choose before? Overlay. So we're looking pretty decent so far. I'm pretty happy and pretty content. Let me just have a look, how's it comparing? Yep, not too bad, uh, but I've just noticed the color's gone on my Polygon, so let's have a look at that. Not that one. Uh, where's my polygon? Where's my polygon? Yep, so the color is the same. So, what we need to do is we need a contrasting color. Go for a bright color. So, I'll hit I on my eyedropper, select a bright red from there, select that there, go to my fill. Okay, it pops up as your most recent one. There we go. Fantastic. So now I need to add in the match day uh, text. So we want it above the grass. So we're going to select this layer here. New layer. You have to do a new layer. Hit T for my text tool. And I'm using Akira Expanded. Okay, so if you go into um, Google, just type it in for a font. Okay, it'll pop up. All right, I'm going to color I've got selected okay I've gone for a red as well B0021C I was using Y but it, it didn't work uh, didn't look very good so press command H bring up my guide make sure it's centered okay and I'm just going to type out uh, in capital letters match day all one word and I'm going to drag across and I'm going to put it somewhere around there and the opacity, I'm going to drop that down to 3%. So you barely see it. Press Command J. Hit V on my keyboard for my move tool. I'm just going to drag. You can barely just see them. It should lock out, but I'm going to increase this opacity to 6%. And the gap's a little bit too big, so I'm just going to move it up a little bit. I'll leave it as it is. Press Command J, duplicate that one. Drag it down. And increase that by another 3% to 9. Okay, it's entirely up to you uh, what you do. Press Command J. Drag it down, there we go. Should be at 12% now. Uh, just make sure it's all aligned. Yep, there we go. Command J. Same again. And increase that passive to 15. Command J. One more. There we go. And increase that passive. 1819 and to finish it off what I'm going to do is I am going to go to my top layer and press command shift alt and E and this gives us a stamp visible okay 
I'm going to filter, noise, add noise, and I've had 5% Gaussian, monochromatic, click OK, and there is our match day image uh, featuring Mo Salah. You can, like I've mentioned before, okay, you can use um, any colour scheme, any team, all right, um, go with your team's colours. Uh, I like these ones. Uh, you could also maybe put uh, club badges on either side, uh, put the text, uh, small text of uh, information, what, when's the match day, what time, what kickoff, where's the venue, etc, uh, etc. Et uh, potentially increase the doge and burn on your players. Uh, it's your oyster. All this is just giving you is some sort of template uh, just to help you out um, with a match day image uh, that I know are quite popular on social media. So thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please do hit that like button. Um, and consider subscribing, helps the channel grow, and share this channel with your friends, uh, if they want to get into sports editing, or just using Photoshop in general, just want to learn, uh, please do recommend me uh, to help me grow, so yeah, thank you very much, and I'll see you soon.